this is one question taken from uh, chapter circle as based on uh, the property tangent from same exterior points are equal so the question says that prove the opposite prove that opposite sides of a quadrilateral circumscribing a circle subtend supplementary angles at the center so we need to draw the figure to understand this better let's say if i first draw a circle let's say this i this is the circle i have drawn and then i'm going to draw one quadrilateral circumscribing it let's say make sure when you draw the quadrilateral their sides touches the circle and so that we can call them as tangents so here this quadrilateral abcd is uh, touching all the edges touching the circle and is acting as a tangent so i named it abcd let's say o be the center of this circle and i'm going to join these points say o with the center o will be joined with every point say o b o c and o d so keep in mind that ac and bd are not diagonals right i repeat here ac and bd are not diagonals and what we need to prove is this angle that is we need to prove angle aob plus angle cod is supplementary and so is this plus this angle are supplementary so it's so right what we have to prove here is angle aob plus angle cod is equal to 180 degree that's what we need to prove now in the first part we'll be uh, writing the point of contact let's say this is point of contact say so pq uh, then you can write this as pq sorry this is q right this is pq r and s and we'll be joining the cent center with the point of contact there's a usual construction involved as you might have done in several questions of tangents now first we need to prove i'm going to prove these two triangle congruent i'm going to prove this triangle and this triangle congruent and that's very easy we can say that these are tangent from same exterior point this is radii and this is common so we can prove these two triangle congruent here right and uh, we can also similarly prove these other two triangles congruent by that i mean to say here the triangle Let's say use some color here. So I mean to say this triangle, right? All right. Yeah. So this triangle and this triangle can also be be proved congruent. That is, uh, <clears throat> this is equal to this radii, and these are tangents from same exterior point, and this is common. So the triangles are congruent here. So you may write uh, the reason for proving the triangle congruent and they are congruent by SSS. So I can uh, write in the proof part, I'm writing here, the proof part, we'll write triangle POB is congruent to triangle BOQ and that's by SSS. Also, you can write the triangle this is the point of contact. I must mention it once again. Here the triangle, the other triangle which I said here is triangle O or say R O C is congruent to triangle that is Q O C from the same reason side, side, side. So once these two triangles are congruent, you can write these angles. Say I'm writing this angle as one this angle one, angle one is equal to angle two, so is angle three and four, five and six, and seven and eight. So first, since these two triangles are congruent, therefore I can write angle one is equal to angle two from CPCT. And when these two triangles are congruent, I can write angle three is equal to angle four. 
Now we don't have to prove triangle congruent every time. So we'll simply write similarly angle five is equal to angle six and angle seven is equal to angle eight. In the next part, we are going to consider this triangle. Right. So before that, let's apply the property. I said we are going to use angle sum property here. So to prove, to prove the remaining part, we are going to use this angle sum property. Now let's say, what do you know that the sum of uh, four angles of a quadrilateral is supplementary? So I can write, yeah, that is, uh, this is angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D is equal to 360. Now check here, one and two are equal and seven and eight are equal. I can replace A with twice of seven or twice of eight as it is acting as a bisector. Well, for us, it is seven is more important. So I'll writing, I'm replacing angle A with twice of angle seven, reason being angle seven and eight are equal. Together they are making angle A. And angle B should be replaced with angle one. Make sure you take those angles which comprises from this triangle or maybe this triangle that is AOB or COD. Now, so I'm replacing angle B with twice angle one. I'm replacing angle C with twice angle three. And I'm replacing this, we set aside this figure. So we get enough space to complete the sum. Right. Similarly, I can write angle uh, D. I'm writing replacing angle D with twice angle five and that is equal to 180 degree. Further, if I take two common, we'll get angle seven plus angle one plus angle three plus angle five is equal to, and if it is 360, sorry. It was 360, this is 360 as of now. In the next step, as we take two common and divide on the other side, we get this as 180 degree. Now consider these two angles, angle one and angle seven. Here, angle one plus angle seven, right? You say in this triangle, in this triangle, angle one plus angle seven plus this angle is making 180 degree. So I can write angle one plus seven or I can replace simply one plus seven as 180 degree minus angle AOB, right? And now consider the other part here, angle three and angle five. Here angle three and angle five, you can say, let's say in the other triangle, this time I'm talking about this triangle. In this triangle, angle three, angle five, and this angle is 180 degree by angle sum property. So I can replace three plus four as 180 minus angle COD. And on the other side, we have 360. Oh, sorry, that's 180. Now, you know that uh, here we can cancel, right? This is angle AOB and angle, sorry, ang angle 180 and 180, opposite side, same sign get canceled. And if I transpose this AOB and COD to the other side, they are negative as of now, will become positive on transposing. So I'll be writing that angle, this is 180 degree is equal to on transposing AOB and COD on the other side, it is positive AOB plus angle COD. And that's what I proved. This is what we need to prove in the first part. We need to prove this. And there's one more thing that you can do here. As you know, that sum of all four angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree. That means, sorry, angle, uh, angles around a point is 360 degree. And if sum of two angle is 180 degree, so the other two will also be supplementary. By that, I mean to say that angle AOD, the other part, plus angle BOC will be 360 degree minus these two angles. And this is 180. So 360 minus 180 is equal to 180 degree. So this is how this question can be proved.